here to do performance monitoring and evaluation. That means we are here to check how is government working. We decided today to come and check how the health department is working. We, we want to hear from those who are dealing with health, how are they dealing with the health? We don't believe 100% to the written report. Because the report can say something which is not real. Somebody can write and say things that are very well here when they are not well. You can't ask a report a question when the report is not going to answer the question. You can sit in Pretoria and believe everything is well in terms of what the report says. And yet things are the opposite. So, monitoring we are doing is not through the paper. It's concrete, practical, we want to hear. So I'm going to be calling these people so that they give a report. Because we want government that is working, that is that is delivering services. There are people who are lazy who want this government to fail. The government is delivering people and delivering. No. So that we identify them and remove them. And I'm taking a copy. When I read it now, I'll read it with a broader understanding of what's happening. If it came, I don't have a not go to the report from the community, the nurses. I will not have a complete report. I will not even know what needs to be done immediately. Now I do know. I can now check what is happening here very, very, very quickly and be able to say what is going to happen. I'm sure you realize why we created the department so that things are not left as usual. So that we don't say one and the same thing every day. There must be a change in this hospital. If there was going to be no change, this visit will cause a change. Clearly, the no. hospital <coughs> has buildings that cannot be used. Some are no longer being used. And perhaps you cannot renovate this hospital. And therefore the call that we should build a new hospital that is absolutely correct. As a response to that call of the community, a new hospital is going to be built. I'm told the hospital has enough ground that you can build another hospital, the new one, whilst this one is continuing to function. It's going to be built in two phases. This year, 2011 to 2012, there is already money, 250 million rand to start the hospital. The second phase will be 2012 to 2013, we complete the hospital. National and the province are going to find money, is there already, which will amount to 250 million, right? And the hospital is going to stand. And the new hospital will have no challenges.
Will have everything management. Enough bread. Sufficient doctors and nurses. New nursing uh, residents. Program director Yari President Jacob But I would like to really to thank you to thank the community, uh, the nurses, everybody else. What I think comes out here is that where there are human beings and activities, you'll always have complaints. The complaints that have been put across indicate that they, they are the complaints in the main that affect individuals. For an example, the loss of the file. Not many files get lost, but at least one file has been lost. And I'm happy that the MEC has guaranteed to follow this matter. Of course, there were individual complaints which we have noted. I'm happy that uh, Minister Msualeti has responded to the problems of accommodation of doctors, of nurses, and uh, particularly the question of accommodation that was raised, that it inconveniences uh, those who are working. And of course the other issue that uh, is a problem is water. And of course from the acting CEO, also a sharp complaint to the Department of Public Works. I'm sure that issue be followed as well. Then the problem which I think we must not shy away from, the lack of a word, a word for mental patients. I think it's an important point that we should attend to. With a good hospital, I think we must address that question because the degree and the nature of mental problems are not the same. Some could be very dangerous. Perhaps when we address the question of accommodation, uh, we might have to include this specific issue to add that, uh, that element. But I must tell you, it is absolutely pleasing to have a better balance. You have a hospital that is praised by the doctor who has been in many hospitals in the country. He says this is one of the good district hospitals. I think we're also very happy to see how the hospital is. Even the nurses looked very alive. When the conditions are dull, the mood also with the nurses gets dull. So it is important to say whilst there are complaints, and the complaints are not as huge as in other areas, but the state of the hospital is much, much better, and indeed it looks like a real hospital. We want to say thank you by committing ourselves to do the work that we have started today. All of us to understand that monitoring and evaluation is about making it possible for us to do our work better. You have demonstrated to us today that it is possible to visit all hospitals using the ministers and in our case it means our MECs irrespective of the portfolio they are responsible for. They must visit the hospitals, we must come back and reflect on what we have observed and where there are challenges, we must resolve them. <laughs>